Hello, and welcome back to Tech Ambrosia. Today, I'm announcing the kickoff of the Cheap PC Challenge. This is an opportunity for PC builders out there to flex their deal-finding muscles and put together a PC for under 100 US dollars. To take part in the challenge, you'll need to follow a few rules and complete a series of challenges. Builds will be scored and tallied at the end of the year. Think you have what it takes? Well then, bottoms up. The idea for the Cheap PC Challenge came to me, like most of my ideas, in the shower. A quick browse around eBay made it clear that this could most certainly be a thing, and it would indeed be a challenge. So I ran it by friend and fellow retro YouTuber Patrick from Old Computer Rebuilds. He loved the idea, and that gave me the confidence to flesh it out a bit more. Yes, the challenge is to build a functional PC for $100 or less. Here are the specifics. Case, monitor, mouse, keyboard, OS, miscellaneous cables and speakers or headphones don't count towards the total. That $100 target is for CPU, GPU, RAM, motherboard, power supply, CPU heatsink, and primary storage drive. You can use any components from any era, but be mindful of the challenges you'll need your finished build to complete. Speaking of those challenges, here they are for this build. GPU testing is a cornerstone of the challenge, and as such, your build will need to run the Unigen Sanctuary benchmark at default settings, 1080p resolution. You'll also need to run Cinebench R11.5, complete the single and multi-core CPU benchmarks. Finally, your build's going to need to open a 100-page Google Doc from the link in the description. How long it takes to load will factor into your build's score. Speaking of scoring, here's how the builds will be scored. Unigen is scored by dividing the score the benchmark spits out by 10. That's it. That's your points. For Cinebench, it's the other way around. Add your single and multi-thread scores together and multiply by 10 for your challenge points. And finally, for the Google Doc, scoring is 60 minus the number of seconds it takes to load the whole document, averaged over three runs. Finally, there is scoring for the prices of the components. You get one point for each dollar under 100 your build totals up to be. And minus five points for every dollar over 100. I won't disqualify you if you go over $100 by a smidge, but please try and keep it under 100. That's the spirit of the challenge. Shipping is not counted in the parts cost. To try and level the playing field between folks who only have access to used PC parts online versus folks who are still lucky enough to have access to local computer parts stores or scrapyards. The second part of this challenge is figuring out what you can do with this PC now that you have it. Be creative! Try to find the most ridiculous thing you can get it to do. You might be surprised at what such old and low-end hardware is actually capable of. I'll be entering this challenge as well. I really have no idea what I'm going to build. Maybe I'll try to run machine learning on a GCN 1.0 graphics card. Or install Haiku OS on an old thin client. I don't know. I'm excited to see what you come up with as well. Here's to building success, and may the PC parts be ever in your favor.